and I welcome back to Angels Light Tarot. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me for your general message for May 2021. And without further ado, we're going to get right into your message. Now remember, this is not a love reading. However, if love comes up, we'll be sure to take a peek into your message. Ha! Let's see, Gemini. What's the messages? What are the messages for Gemini angels? Positive energy, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you for lovely, lovely Gemini. Thank you, angels. We're looking for what you know. What we're gonna, we're just gonna keep on shuffling. Positive energy, positive energy for Gemini. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. What what is going on for Gemini? Whoa. Okay. This is, yeah, I feel like, what, that goes there. Yeah, angels, positive energy, high vibrations. Moving on to my mama's deck. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, that goes there. I kind of felt like love was going to show up. <laughs> angels, positive energy, high vibrations. Yes, yes, and yes. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. We're ready to top off your message, yes, with the vintage, thank you, thank you, thank you, with the vintage Eskimo deck, angels. We're looking for high vibrations for lovely, lovely, lovely Gemini. All right, so major theme for the month is the night. The Knight of Cups reversed, yes, with the Four of Swords reversed, the Ten of Spades companion, and the King of Diamonds. Hmm, so I feel like the King of Cups, I feel like reversed, there's love coming your way. And I feel like this love that's coming your way, you know, for those of you who are in a bond, I feel like... For those of you who are in a loving bond, I feel like they're going to be bestowing more love unto you, um, onto you. Um, for those of you that are not in a love bond, I feel like there is love coming to you. Yes, yes, yes. And I feel like um, with the four of, of wands, um, you, you've actually been, been thinking quite a lot about this love that that um like this the way they're they're giving you this love it's like you you feel like I feel like you've been working for this you've been praying for this you've really been praying for this and now with the ten of spades it's actually working out really well for you. Love is really working out well for you. With the companion and the king of diamonds, I feel like this love, um, I feel like who, whoever this is financially, I'm just going to throw this out here. Financially, maybe they've gotten a promotion. Maybe they're making more money now, just kind of so you know who we're talking about here, right? Maybe they just got a new job, but I feel like they're bringing their love closer to you. And, and, they may actually be working quite a bit. Um, and I'm feeling like, I'm feeling like while they're, it's almost like you want to spend more time with them, this person, and I feel like they will spend more time with you, but they're not moving as quickly as you would like them to. They're going to be bringing love to you, closer to you, but at the same time, I feel like they're actually working quite a bit as well because some of some some and you know this could be romantic. This could be your partner where they're giving you love and you're wanting it to come quicker. But they're working and they're bringing in the dollar. They got a promotion or they started a side hustle or whatever it is. You just want in love, okay? All right. Now for those of you who are not in a love bond, I feel like love is coming to you and it's probably. Going Going to come to you through some type of work that you are doing okay now when we look in some of you might even be dating someone that you you're their boss if that makes sense I'm just gonna let that fly and you're like Dora I'm gonna let that fly okay all right now when we look at the recent past we have the ten of swords with the four of hearts and the hospitality with the three of clubs so in the recent past I feel like 
Gemini, I feel like you felt a bit betrayed, a lot betrayed, and it looked like by someone that you loved a lot. Your feelings were hurt more than just hurt. It was deep, but you gave them grace. You still worried about it. You tried to look at it a different way, a different angle, but I feel like you did give them grace. So whoever, whoever's not necessarily had your back, you're like, all right, all right, I'm going to let this go because you know what? Because I love you. So this could be, a, you know, a child a parent, a loved one, a family member, I love you, so, you know, I'm, I'm going to give you grace. You gave them grace. Now, when we look in the middle of the month, we have the King of Cups with the Six of Clubs, the Grace card. There it is again with the Five of Clubs. So in the middle of the month, I see you standing in your love power. Yes, you are. You are speaking about the love that you desire. I feel like you're giving someone grace. You have such a big love. You have such a huge love that you are willing to give someone grace. With the five of clubs, you're giving them grace, but you're changing your mind. Like they're, they're like, are you bipolar? <laughs> right? Or you're thinking, depending on where you're sitting in this reading, they're thinking, you're thinking, are they bipolar? <laughs> right? I told you, I love you. I told you, I told you, go ahead, do what you need to do. I told you, right? But somebody keeps thinking you don't really mean it. Okay, all right. Now, or they don't really mean it, depending on where you're sitting in this message. Now, by the end of the month, we have the moon card with the two of clubs, multitask, and the nine of diamonds. So by the end of the month, I feel like with the moon card, something doesn't feel very clear to you, Gemini. And I feel like you're going to talk about it. Um... And I feel like there's something multitask. I feel like whatever this conversation is, it's going to be more than just one conversation. I see you're even asking the same question differently, right? Because you, whatever this is that isn't, like you're, you know when you take those uh, personality tests or those uh, tests to see if you're telling the truth, so they um, keep, they ask you the same question, but it's in different ways. It's kind of like that, like trying to catch somebody up, because you really need to, whatever this is that isn't clear, you need to be able to let this go, and you need to be able to know that whatever the answer is, you need to be clear on that answer. So I hope they have time. I hope they have time to listen to this conversation. I hope they, they're like on the money, answering the question every single time the correct way because um, you might let them go, okay? But I know you won't. All right, so let's go ahead and take a peek in your bonus. You have the Queen of Pentacles reversed with the Wheel of Fortune, the Two of Hearts, and the success card, I knew you wouldn't, with the Queen of Spades. So I feel like with your bonus, with the Queen of Pentacles reversed, I feel like financially speaking, you're pretty darn good, darn good all right? Um, just, just watch your spending, okay? Now, with the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like if you are a good steward with your finances, if you are watching where your money is going, I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune, everything is going to turn out wonderfully for you you, especially when it comes to your love life. For those of you who are in a romantic relationship, for those of you who are in a romantic relationship, everything feels successful. But with the Queen of Spades, there will be some internal work that you will need to do to make sure this happens. So if you're easily agitated over, you know, little things like, right? right? Yeah, you're going to have to work through that this month, and it will be beneficial to you. There's some clarity that you want, Gemini, and I feel like you're going to get it. You are going to, even if you have to search high and low for this answer, maybe, maybe you're asking them and you're asking someone else. Maybe you're asking them and you're searching social media. Either way, you're going to find the answer that you are looking for so that you can finally put this uncertainty to bed, okay? Maybe your partner is working quite a bit and maybe you're wondering, are they really working that much? Uh, maybe your child is, is, is working a lot and you're wondering, 
Why aren't they home? Would they have a curfew, right? Just apply it to your life as it fits. I feel like don't jump the gun, you know, don't, don't, don't do that, right? Hear them out because I feel like that jumping the gun is a part of the internal work that needs to be done. Sometimes there is actually a good reason for whatever is going on. We just need to let them speak, okay? Because I don't feel like there's anything sneaky going on. I, I really don't. I feel like they are literally working, okay? So I'm just going to leave it there. I send you joy, namaste, and much, much love sent your way.